Hello students, I am Dr. Shubhana Dr. Today I will discuss the statistical mechanics in a few lectures. Let's start. First, we should know what is statistical mechanics and why is it required. In a classical mechanics, the motion of the particles can be described by Newton's law of motion. So, for a system of n particles, n number of Newton's equations of motions is required to describe the motion of the n individual particles. For example, in one mole of gas, that is 10 to the power 23 number of molecules are present there. So, in a, it is very difficult to solve the 10 to the power 23 number of Newton's of equations of motions derived is uh, it is very difficult to solve the 10 to the power 23 number of Newton's equation of motion. It is very difficult and sometimes it is also not needed to know the motion of individual particles. So in classical mechanics there is a drawback. So we need to characterize a system by its pressure, temperature or energy and we have to calculate the average property of the system and that is sufficient. The statistical mechanics is required for the large number of particles and it provides the statistical probability laws for the distribution of microscopic particles of a macroscopic system in thermal equilibrium. Without considering the detailed calculation of position and velocity of individual particles. The statistical mechanics provides a link between the microscopic properties of the system and the corresponding to the macroscopic thermodynamic properties of the system. The microscopic properties is corresponding to the distribution of the microscopic states. And the macroscopic properties, thermodynamic properties, is re related to the distribution of the total microscopic states. So, the statistical mechanics is concerned with the understanding how the various macroscopic properties, such as energy, pressure, temperature, etc., arises as a consequence of the ma microscopic nature of the system. Now I will discuss what is the macro state and the micro state of a thermodynamic system. First, the macro state is the another word for the thermodynamic state of the system and it is the specification of a system which contains just enough information for its thermodynamic state to be well defined but no detailed information we can give or we can discuss in the macro states. The macro state of a system are characterized by the thermodynamic coordinates that is like temperature, pressure, volume etc. So macro state is corresponding to the macroscopic property of a system. Now I will come to the micro state. What is that? The definition of micro state is can be uh, written as a mi micro state is defined as the arrangement of each particle in the system at a particular instant. That means the word microstate means the most detailed specification of the assembly that can be imagined. Suppose there is a classical kinetic theory of gases and for one particle to specify its vector position and corresponding to the momentum position we require six number of coordinates which are mutually perpendicular to each other. The position vector is x, y, z and the momentum uh, vectors that is px 
Py and Pz. So total six number of coordinates are required for one particle to specify its position and momentum. For the n gas particles, we require to specify the vector position and momentum. That is six n coordinates. This is called phase space of a system. Now to understand the micro state and macro state more clearly, I I will discuss one problem. So what is that? Suppose we have four distinguishable particles. That is A, B, C, D, and we wish to distribute them into two exactly similar compartments in an open box. So what is the possibilities? Suppose for one case, in compartment one there is no particle, and in the compartment two all the particles are present. That means A, B, C, D. So the macro state will be zero four zero comma four, and the number of micro states will be one because there is only one possibility. And the next possibility will be one comma three. That means in one compartment. there may be a b or c or d particle and the other compartment two all the other three particles are present that means b c d or c d a d a b and a b c so the number of micro state for the 1 comma 3 macro states will be 4 so the number of micro states is 4 which gives you the same number of macro state that means 1 comma 3 the next possibility is 2 comma 2 that means the two particles can be present in compartment 1 and the other two particles can be present in compartment 2 and the total number of micro states in these two two macro states will be 6 and the other possibilities is the just Uh, opposite of the one comma three, that means three comma one macro state. That means the three particles can be stayed, can be occupied in compartment one, and one particle will be compartment two. And the total number of micro states corresponding to the three one macro state will be four. And the last possibility is four comma zero. That means the four part particles in the compartment one, and zero particle in the compartment two. So in this problem. The total number of macro states is are five, and the number of micro states will be sixteen. In this problem, all before reaching the equilibrium condition, all the macro states, the probability of happening of occurring of all the macro states will be equally probable. Before reaching the equilibrium conditions, all the macro states will be occurring in Will be equally prob probable, but at the equilibrium condition, which macro state gives you the highest number of micro states? That means for two two macro state, the number of micro states will be maximum. That is six. That means the probability of occurring the particle staying in the box, the two two macro state will give you the maximum. Will give you the maximum number of micro states. That means this probability of occurring is maximum. That means the two two macro state. Now I will discuss another problem. Three distinguishable particles, each of which can be in one of the energy states. That means E, two E, three E, and four E, having the total energy six E. Find the possible number of distribution of all particles in the energy state. That means the macro state of the system, and find the number of micro states in each case. So there are three particles. Suppose A, B, C, and there are four energy compartments. That means E, two E, three E, and four E. We can arrange the three particles in such a way so that the total energy must be six E. So the first possibility is. Two particles can be stayed in E energy state, and the one particle can stay 4E state. So that 4E plus 2E that is equal to 6E. 
The second combination is that all the three particles are in the 2e state. That means 3 into 2e, 6e. And the third possibility is a, b and c. A particle, one particle can stay in a e energy state. Another one is, is, is in the 2e state. And the third particle is in the 3e state. So 3 plus 2e plus e that is 6e. So the total number of macro state in this problem is 3. Now we have to find out the number of micro states in the each of the for the each macro state. So for the 2001 macro states, the three particles can be arranged in three number of ways. So the number of micro states will be three. And the 0, 3, 0, 0, there is only one number of micro states. That means A, B, C. All the particles can stay in 2E state. And for the 1, 1, 1, 0, for this macro state, there will be 6 number of micro states. As it is already written. So, here in this problem, the number of micro states will be 10. And in the equilibrium condition, the 1, 1, 1, 0 macro state, uh, which has highest number of micro states, that is number 6. So, probability of occurring this macro state, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 1, 0 will be highest. Now, I will come to the thermodynamic probability. What is that? It is defined as the number of possible microstates corresponding to any given macrostate. We already know that the mathematical probability that is that can be greater than 1. But for thermodynamic probability, it can be greater than 1. Here, we can relate the entropy of the system with the number of microstates or thermodynamic probability. How is that? Suppose there is an isolated system, that means there is no exchange of energy or anything with the surroundings uh, and it undergoes as an irreversible process. So, there is a net increase of entropy of the system. The maximum value of the entropy is reached when the system arrives at equilibrium condition. So, the statistical definition for the entropy of an isolated system S is equal to entropy is equal to Kb ln W, where S is the entropy of the system, Kb is the Boltzmann constant and W is the thermodynamic probability or possible microstates corresponding to any given macrostate. Now in a nutshell, we can conclude that the statistical mechanics deals with the system having a large number of particles and the whole system exists in a macrostate. That means in thermal equilibrium and in which macro state the number of micro states are maximum that that macro state's probability of occurring is maximum. However, it is important to mention that all the micro states are equally probable to be occupied before reaching the equilibrium state that is called a Gornick hypothesis. So, thank you student. Today the lecture is ended here. Thank you.